3D XCon is coming to Berlin. Sign up now to get early access to tickets and a 20% discount. These tickets will go fast, so don't miss out. Yeah, there, there we, we go. go. Good job, Aziz. Thank you. Quickest trade in history. <laughs> you would be such a good stockbroker. Yeah, I know, right? Hello everybody and welcome to the Stellaris console edition stream with myself replacing Dale who's on some well-needed vacation mm -hmm. and with me I have the usual suspect Aziz. Aziz. I'm just a marketing guy. Don't we have too many of those? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for calling you out immediately. I saw a comment about the uh, official soundtrack. I totally agree that uh, the music is one of those things that is so iconic about about Stellaris on, mm -hmm. on pretty much every platform. You can enjoy the music outside of the game on Spotify. Or you can just YouTube it as well if you don't use Spotify. Yeah, but we don't get paid. <laughs> Typical marketing. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Tell us about the uh, about the game, because I haven't actually seen this game before. Oh, okay. Save game. This particular save game. Sorry, uh, I completely <laughs> misunderstood your comment. This is my uh, hostile, sort of fanatic, militarist, materialist, warlike little nation. We've played a couple of games with Dale uh, and I've, I've failed horribly. I mean you're just the producer of the game. <laughs> you just know all the ins yeah, and I, outs of no, the game. No, no, I, I, know, I know how to get it released. I don't know how to play. <laughs> like any strategy game you need to sort of think about the future and, and like plan ahead. Like I don't want to care about what my science ship is doing for a while so I'm just gonna let this scientist just research and survey all these systems and then I'll go back to them when they're done. Can Aziz <coughs> tell the new guy all the things that makes Dolores replayable? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that person was here for the first stream or not. I kept saying how replayable Dolores was, I think, like six times during the whole stream. Yeah. So like once every ten minutes. Mm. It kind of drove um, Dale insane, but and I think that's why he's on vacation, actually. But Dolores is a really replayable game. So do are we planning? So we had a war against the our northern or whatever whatever direction you want to call it yeah. neighbor, and we lost. Did we white piss them? Oops. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, we we lost all our ships. Why do you have such a low uh, fleet cap? I tried to go for a quick war to show the stream some action. Yeah. Because I think there's a lot of um, that backfired. What? Oh yeah. I mean. But chat got their action. You got the ra wrong partner here. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I knew you were making a mistake, yeah. I wouldn't tell you. Oh, really? <laughs> no, because I'm on the side of the people watching. Not on your oh, side. Oh, you're, you're a man of the people. <laughs> yeah. Nurgle probe says, I'm glad that you two together have the skill level of one <laughs> new Stellaris <laughs> console player. Learn from my mistakes. Yeah. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Where's Dale? I, I want Dale back. <laughs> he needs his vacation. Don't we all? Uh, we have a we have an enemy empire here. Well, not yeah. necessarily. Enemy. No, no, they're all enemies. That's <laughs> the correct. Aziz, what do you prefer, particle lances or mega cannons? <sighs> I know what my answer is. I mean, from a gameplay perspective, like I think particle lancers are better, but mega can mega uh, cannons are cooler. I mean, that's where I have to disagree. I was gonna say I don't even know gameplay wise which one is better. But particle lens is cooler. So a thing that Dale and I agreed upon was that whenever there's a disagreement, yeah, I'm the right one. What's happening here? Gwizibor <sighs> blessed assembly. I mean, you should probably trade some of that energy for some minerals. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. But they're hostile towards me. These these people, they're they're kind of on the fence, so it should be fine. I hope. So I'm just not not all of it. Don't give it away. <laughs> <laughs> don't accidentally give it away. I I don't accidentally give anything away. You're not very nimble. I'm not actually very used to controllers. Uh, I grew up with a PC. Oh, okay, no, they they don't even want, like. Uh, I'm just gonna go increase it slowly until they say no, because this is how you play the game. Hmm. So where when do they say no? I know this is engaging gameplay, but um, yeah, you should have paused, man. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there, there we, we go. go. Good job, Aziz. Thank you. Quickest trade in history. <laughs> you would be such a good stockbroker. Yeah, I know, right? There's a player in chat who asks about habitats. Mm -hmm. Some of my buildings have a yellow mark in the upper left. What do these indicate? That just means that the pop has a modifier. 
So if you go down to the pop details, you should be able to see why they have that modifier. We use that modifier, uh, that icon for a lot of different types of modifiers. That's why it's a generic, like yellow marker. Can I bring you? Can I tell you a tip? Uh huh. You should actually build mining stations in your systems. That have <laughs> yeah, I am doing that now. You know, you're much more demanding than Dale. It's just the way I am. People still, still uh, talk about. Why it's a good thing that Stellaris console edition is a thing. Because mm. that makes more people play Stellaris. Mm. And more people playing good games mean less murders. Look at this system. What's up with this system? Well, what, a, what a crappy system. More guard. <laughs> <laughs> Named after the game director of Stellaris. Yep. And it's the crappiest oh, system. When do we get the Dale and Aziz announcer pack voiceovers for console? I'll talk to Bjorn later. <laughs> yeah, Metal Bjorn. <laughs> or audio director. I think Lunis ha had a had a good answer to the question whether or not you can actually play Stellaris too much. Mm. When you play till you lose your job, your home, or die from lack of food or water, then you played it too much. I think that's where we can draw the line. Or mm -hmm. or you start to work with Stellaris. That like is you true. Do. That is true. Yeah, because then they're interconnected. Mm -hmm. Then you can't play too much. So, uh, we have a question. How do you pick up the terraforming candidate modifier? That's random, right? There are a few that will always have it. For yeah. example, if you start... Um, Mars, right? Yeah, exactly. Mars yeah. will always be one. So, if you start in the s with a sol s the Sol yeah. system, then and you have Mars, then it will always be... But then it's random. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's already quite a f uh, few uh, colonizable planets in the game, so we don't really want to make it unbalanced by making every single barren planet uh, colonizable as well. Mm. Why is the game so slow, Robert Wilson asks. Because Aziz doesn't dare to play on the fastest. Oh my god. Can we start a hashtag bring back Dale? You like, you like having me here. Of course I do. You're my favorite PMM. Oh, thanks man. You're, I'm also the only one you've worked with. <laughs> <laughs> question is if I should say something about the deficit you're running right now. I mean, my my people are just eating too much food. You have uh, capped out your influence. Have I? Yep. What the? I was running out of influence. Fudge. Yeah, of course. Of course. Fudge. Fudge is what I wanted to say. No. Oh. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. There we go. So, for those of you who didn't understand what happened, um, this empire's borders had been uh, protruding, I think that's the word, over, over these these um, systems. And since we're rivals, we can't really travel through each other's empires. But me, being very clever and seeing that, decided to uh, like just run towards this star and build a frontier outpost so that I could get my borders back. I am that's good. so smart. Any chance on bringing mods to console? Won't confirm, won't deny. Which department did you work for now again? Marketing. <laughs> Usually that's that's like what you shouldn't say. You shouldn't give like such blatantly non-committal answers. Mm. Because people will see through your bullshit. Oh. But I'm counting on our fans being more understanding. Any tips on increasing fleet size and military Ooh. power? I seem to struggle with that. Uh, the way you will increase your uh, naval capacity is uh, through a bunch of different things. Depends on how many pops you have, how many spaceports and what levels they are, and what types of technologies you have. Some technologies in increase it. As you can see, I have three different ones that each increase it by 10%. As to how you increase your fleets, I, I mean, you, you just have to keep building it. Thank you for your support. It's awesome that you like the game, but it's also awesome that you keep reporting those bugs so that we can actually take a look at them. Yes, I mean... It's really, that's really the best way for us to improve the game, is to get feedback from I you I don't guys. think people actually... Like, I used to work in QA, um, and people don't always realize how much we actually appreciate those reports. It's one thing to have a QA play the game, you know, for hundreds of hours. Yeah. But once you release a game, you're going to have hundreds of thousands of players. Even if they play for only one hour each, that's still more hours than any single QA can ever put. <laughs> like, you can have 200 QA people on it oh, yeah. for, for, for months, and yeah. you will still not get... Uh, get the kind of feedback that you would get when you actually no. release it, right? I play Stellaris on PC and I've told some console friends to get this. So far they are loving it. It's taking over their lives. <laughs> job well done. Awesome to hear. First grand strategy on console. Ever. Ever. 
Um, and it works. But pe people always, f sometimes al also forget that, you know, not too long ago, Grand Strategy was uh, a super niche genre oh, yeah, on yeah. PC as well. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the last, what, five, six years or so, it's become more mainstream. CK2 was the one that started, like, get, got the ball rolling, I would yeah. say. You know, I, I do love consoles, actually. Like I, like, I feel way more comfortable sitting like this than on PC when I'm like this. I but like both. Lordships uh, says, <coughs> any tips on maintaining high energy input? I've never have enough. Same with influence points. I mean, there's no real strategy behind it. Like, either you gotta be lucky. Like this, I don't have the technology yet, but these things, they're, they're a special resource called uh, Befarian Stone. They are so good for energy. Like, uh, you build a special building on top of it and you get energy. Like the way to maintain it is basically don't don't go crazy with your fleet if you don't need it. Influence is probably the hardest resource to like keep up. Right now I say that with with my um, stock full, but what you want to do is keep your factions happy. Always keep an eye out on your factions. Make sure that they're happy, and also rival. Don't be don't be scared of rivaling other empires because. Yep. Especially like, ones that are far away. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think <laughs> I think you get more the closer you are, but um, yeah, I think we won't. Unfortunately, we'll have to have the next war, the next session. I mean, I'm not gonna promise anything. Aziz here promises that he'll destroy something. It's in the, the Aziz next guarantee. Or get destroyed. Probably you'll get destroyed. I though. mean, yeah, yeah. If if my past actions are anything to go by. Thank you so much, guys, for for uh, sticking it out with us and hanging out and asking questions, great questions. Uh, if you have any more questions that you can't wait to, to ask, check out our forums or, you know, our Facebook page mm -hmm. or any of our, our other channels, and we'll take a look at that. Yep. Have a great week, guys.